Yo guys, what up? Me, Patrick LeVar. So quickly in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this cloud-like material using Blender Octane. So let's jump straight into it. First thing to do, I'm going to add in here is a sphere. When I first did this, I used meta balls, but I noticed I had some weird uh, artifacting in between the meta balls that affected the material. So for this uh, quick lesson here, I'm just going to use, let me turn off my camera. I'm just going to use uh, a couple of spheres here just to show you uh, how the material works more or less. I'll do something like that and kind of scale these up there. All right, boom. So I got these three spheres here. What I'm going to do here now is I'm going to quickly jump into my shading and uh, let's go ahead and just uh, quickly get these into shot here. I'm down. Okay, boom. Got that going there. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to quickly turn on that and on my world lighting I'm using an HDR but let me just crank that up a little bit it's two let's say maybe even three here okay good so this is basically how we uh, create this material I'm gonna go into new and uh, make sure it's on all of the materials it's on all of them okay then we're going to delete the gloss here yours may be a universal but whatever it is it just delete it and we're going to add in a specular material drop that there in the surface then we're going to add in a rgb spectrum and also we'll drop that into the transmission i'll go ahead and change that to white and hang on i don't think the materials are on this one there it is okay let's get these all with the material on there okay good and then <clears throat> Let me take a look at my notes here. After that, I'm going to basically come in here, turn my roughness. Roughness was down to zero. Everything was zero index. Oh, you know what? I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Hang on. We can't use the speculative material. I tried it with the speculative material. There's one option we need. So we do need that universal material. So we go into A, S, U, universal material my bad i forgot there's one the option that's not on this that's on the spectrum so and then drop this into my transmission uh specular we go to zero roughness we go to zero and down here dielectric that was what was missing from the spectrum one uh from the the other one so this dielectric here so i take this dielectric and put that to one okay now after that, I'm going to come in down, scroll down a little bit more. I'm going to turn on fake shadows. Okay. And then we're going to add in an uh, uh, S. I'm going to add in a scatter, no, uh, scatter, S, C, scatter medium. Okay. And we'll throw that into the medium. This is also the same way you make uh, like some subsurface. Let's drop that into there. And then here, this is going to control the density, how dense you want the cloud to be. Uh, now, I was having an issue. Let's see if it works early. Okay, I got to set up to Spectre right now. So from here, we're also going to turn this to white. Let's bring that up to white. And there we can actually see our, our image back. Okay, and then I'm going to actually go ahead. I got some values. I've already messed with this. I'm going to take this down to 1.3. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this step here to two. All right, and then from something, we need something to drive some noise in here. So what then I'm going to do is go into A, S, uh, noise texture, noise texture. Boom, and then we're going to, uh, and there's one other thing I think I needed, noise texture. Yeah, there was one thing before the noise texture we need. Let me close this. We need all the space we can get. Okay. And let's also close this. Slide this over here. Okay. Before the noise texture, we need one other. We need a S uh, vertex displacement. Okay. And then we take that and we're going to plug that vertex. This is going to be by itself. We're going to plug this into the displacement. Displacement. There we go. Okay. And then we'll take this noise. We'll plug that into the texture. Now the subdivision level here will control how much detail you actually get 
inside of the cloud of course the higher the level of the subdivision the, the slower your uh workspace is going to get so i leave it low and then when i go to render it i maybe prank i maybe four uh five i've done six and it crashed my computer so be careful with this so for now i'm just going to do two and i'll probably crank it up to three at the end you also want to turn on auto bitmap okay and then from here now we'll see the noise starting to kick in right so we'll go to the octaves here and i'm going to go to uh let's crank it up to like six and you can play with the different noises here but i think i liked uh, the way that turbulence looked a little bit i'm going to go to turbulence i'm going to go to my octave here i'm going to go to point seven my octaves and then down here on my game i'm going to go to 1.5 and 0.5 on my contrast okay now what we're also going to do here we're going to have to add in another node s uh i'm going to add in a 3d transform node and i'm going to drop that into the transform slot and now here i'm going to crank up the size i'm going to eight let's see here you can see it's kind of like spiky. We got to get rid of the spikes. I think I got to play with the noise a little bit here to find out what's the best noise here. Hang on, let's reset it. It's getting a little bit laggy. There we go. Okay, that's softening it up a little bit. Okay, quickly here. Let's see if we can get a little bit more detail out of it. You really got to play with the lights. Yeah, let's see if we can play with the position of the lights a little bit. It's kind of really hard to see it till we kick out the render. Uh, crank up the samples a little bit just to see if we can get a little bit more on it. Let me go to 800. Okay, it's getting there. I think I might have the lights a little too hot. But you can start to see it taking shape, okay? So you can play with all that. Let me jump back in here quickly. I think this one here. Let's change the color with this one. Yeah, this is the one to change the color with. To get it dark, Maybe a little bit of blue in there. Okay, so quickly now, one other thing. Again, you can crank up the levels here to get a little bit more detail. If you don't like this this uh, pattern here, just change up the noise a little bit. And then you can also play with these values here. The higher the number, the more details you'll see. Uh, let's let it update in here. It's taking a little bit of time because of the screen capture here. Let me see if I can just shut it off. Turn it back on. Boom. Okay, now that we see that we've changed the noise pattern, big more fluffy. And then here, if you want it even more bigger and fluffier, we can crank this up to like 10. Okay, so there, boom, a little bit more puffier. So super quick and easy how to make a cloud material. Uh, one little cool thing you can possibly also do here. Let's say if I kill that to zero, right? And I drop in, let me go back to my light. We drop in a light. Uh, you can use the, the area light. A lot of people don't know that. You can go to the area light. Let me see, GZ, kind of drop it up here. If you go into the light the preferences here and then you hit use nodes, boom, go down here to admission. And then now I will have control of the light. Let me jump in and show you here. Boom, now we got the light here. I don't to turn on surface, use surface. Uh, let's scale this on the X a little bit, something like that. And then again, you can control the color of it, the temperature. So if I take this down to like, you know, 4,500, we'll get a little bit more warmer light. And then like, let's say I want to hide this light. I'll just click right here and then jump into hide camera, hide from camera, boom. And then we got a little bit of a cloud here. Uh, and just quickly, let's jump back into my camera, move my camera back a little bit, boom. All right, there you go. Just a quick little cloud material. I'll go ahead and render this out and show you guys the final render. Again, you just want to jump in there, play with these settings a little bit more to uh, to try to get what you want. But basically, this is the setup here. Let me make a full page so you guys can take a look at that. Get this all on there. 
this is the full setup to make a cloud like material if you guys improve it or something let me know drop it down uh in the description and actually i have an instagram here you guys can take a look at the instagram uh definitely post uh some stuff and tag me if you guys make something cool with it patrick lavar keep filming